Hi, welcome to SolidWorks 2023 video tutorial. I want to do that cylinder for my seven cylinder radial engine and I want to show you different ways to do it. Let's take a look at the drawing. So here it is and if you want you could make a screenshot and then follow this exercise step by step. So let's have fun with SOLIDWORKS. So let's do first all the sketches we might need. So first sketch should be on the top plane and that will be just a circle and the dimension of that circle should be 136 in diameter. And confirm, finish this sketch. Next sketch, another one on the top plane. No, not like this, sorry. So go for top plane and go for another sketch. Another circle, which is around here. And the diameter should be 14. And it should be aligned horizontal. And the distance here should be at least, at first, 75 millimeter. Which will lead to an error message as soon as I do extrudes because those two solids will touch only with a line. Okay, another circle should be on the front plane. There you go. And that diameter should be 83. Confirm, finish that sketch and now I can start with my model. But before that I should create a parallel plane. So let's go for reference geometry plane and this should have a distance to the top plane and that distance should be 260 millimeter. And confirm. So there should be another plane up here. Great. And I could move that plane before those sketches. Nice. Let's start with an extrude. Select this circle here. And I want to go for a thin feature. One direction, yes, but it should go to the inside and should have five millimeters. So switch it like that. And it should go up to the plane, but it should start. No, that's okay. It should go up to the plane. That's okay. So direction one is okay, but it should go up to a surface and the surface would be in this case that plane 1 and confirm and maybe switch the graphics like that. Now I want to reuse that sketch here. So select it and go for an extruded boss space but I want to start at a plane, at this plane, and this should go to an offset from a surface. So the surface, that would be the top plane. And the offset should be 1.6 but 260 minus 
1.67 which should give me uh, extrude up here and I want to have a thin feature but two directions and this should be 7 and 5 this looks pretty good and confirm now I want to do a linear pattern and therefore it would be nice to have a, an axis so let's go for an axis and make it the intersection between two planes and that would be the front plane and the right plane and confirm and I want this axis to be up here now a linear pattern I want to use that axis here as direction and I want to have 31 instances spacing and instances and the spacing should be 5 millimeter plus 1.67 and I want to pattern that second thin extrude but the other way around like that let's confirm this this looks pretty good okay now I want to use this sketch that's sketch 2 and I want to make another extrude which should start at this plane here so go to surface select that plane and I want to use an another offset from another surface and that surface would be the top plane and the offset should be 260 minus 47 so if you go for merge result that should give you an error message like this because of the parasolid graphic kernel of SOLIDWORKS so I want to deactivate the merge result because I need a second solid anyway so let's deactivate this and this should work like that and now we have a second solid here that's the pattern that's a solid and I can do a fillet around with seven millimeters as at this edge here seven and confirm now I want to make a circular pattern with that solid here and let's go for that circular pattern axis would be this one here I need 360 degrees for instances that's okay and I want to pattern that solid and this would be that solid here looks okay and now I've got four more bodies and if I now want to combine them this would not work because I would get the same as an error message as I did in the beginning because it's a parasolid graphic kernel so I will have to change sketch number two there you go and make this not 75 but maybe only 74.999 leave that sketch and now I should be able to combine those five solids so let's go for combine I want to combine that pattern body that fillet and those instances and confirm great now let's remove here with a extruded cut with that sketch make it blind yes make it maybe not blind but go for mid plane and go for 200 millimeters that should be sufficient okay then I will need a hole and I want to do it in the original body that would be this one here here 
at that position. So let's go for the whole wizard and make it 10 in diameter, make it yes and no. It should be blind. Go for 2, 0, 20 and go for positions and select the surface and then try to select the center point here like that and confirm great and let's do another circular pattern this time it's a feature pattern so i want to pattern this feature here go for that circular pattern Axis would be this one, yes, 364. That seems to be legit, and let's confirm. And my first version is done. Now let's go for a more traditional solution. And I want to hide that circular pattern solid. And I want to use the sketch as sketch one. Let's still sketch one. There's sketch two, and somewhere must be sketch three. Those three sketches, I want to reuse them. So let's start with sketch one, and we could do again extrude pause space, but this time no trickery, it should go just to that plane. And no thin one, and should not be an offset, but up to surface. That's it, and confirm. Now sketch 2 should be on that plane, so I want to copy it. So go for that sketch, Control c for copy, and select that plane, and Control v for pasting it. So it's still hidden, and it's as usual not fully constrained. So edit it and those two should be aligned horizontal and the distance should be of course from this point to that point not 75 but 74.999 and confirm and leave that sketch. Now I can make an extrude and make go for a new solid. So go for extruded for space, select it here and sketch plane, yes, and this time it should go blind and it should be for seven, the other way around, and I don't want to merge the result. So, right now, okay, like that. Now I can go for that fillet. Again, seven millimeters here, confirm. Let's make a circular pattern with that solid once more. So this should be the axis. And I want to have a body pattern, that body confirm. Let's combine them. Where is it? There you go. And this body here, this one, that one, this one, and that one. Confirm. Now I could copy that first sketch. Control C, Control V, but anyway, it's not fully constrained. So let's go there and edit it. Let's move that circle over here. Make those two here coincident and then change the diameter to 150 and confirm. Leave that sketch. Let's make another extrude. Now with the sketch, a 
it should go the other way around and it should be 1.67 and confirm now i can make a linear pattern direction would be that axis i want to have 31 instances and the distance spacing is 6.67 that's okay, and I want to pattern that feature, this feature here. So this would be that boss extrude here. Yep. And I want to. That's okay, that's okay, that's okay, and confirm. Great. Now. Let's do a hole up here. So go for the whole wizard. Or maybe first make those so I don't have to change the values. So let's go here. It's again 10 and 20 on the surface. And I want to place it again at the center here. No, like that. Leave that sketch here. Looks good. Great. Now I could do that pattern. Circular pattern. That's the axis. 364. And the feature would be that hole here. And confirm. Now let's do another hole with the hole wizard. And this time it's not a blind one, but it should go through all. And those values should be changed. This should be 126 millimeter in diameter. Go for the positions, select, try at least to select first that surface. And then go for this edge and snap it right here. Confirm. Great. And now I can use the last sketch, the third one, which is here, and do again an extruded cut. Mid plane, yes, let's go for 200. And confirm. And my second version is done as well. Let's hide it. Great. So the third version would start here. So again, I want to use sketch one, yes. And let's make an extrude for space, yes. Make it up to this plane. Sketch plane, yes. Go for surface. Choose that one here, confirm. Then sketch two, maybe make it visible. So that sketch, no, that's the wrong one. No, that's the right one, yes. And I don't have to change it because the dimension is already 74.999. So again, I could go for that extruded both space. And again, I have to make a new solid. It's not up to surface, it's a blind one, it's 47. And I don't want to merge, so let's deselect it and confirm. Again, I can do my fillet with seven millimeters here. Confirm. Now go for that circular pattern. I want to pattern that body here. So let's switch to bodies. That would be the body, like that. No features, that's okay. The axis would be not the face, but that axis here. Confirm. And now again, go for combine. Select the bodies, maybe here. That would be the boss extrude, that fillet, that circle pattern, one, two, three and confirm. 
Now I need sketch one to be copied or I could just do a new one. Doesn't really matter. So let's go. I want to reuse it. So let's go for control C copy. Select the top plane and paste it right there. Control V. Now go down, go for edit. Or oh, first I could move it a little bit. Then go for edit. And then align. Maybe move it a little bit more. So like that. And now go for align this point with the origin of the sketch. Horizontal. Not necessary, but coincident. And change the value to 150. Leave that sketch. Now let's make an extrude post space. Yes, with that sketch, make it 1.67. Confirm. Now go for linear pattern. It's already selected. That's great. Direction seems to be OK, yes and confirm. Nice. Now again a hole and holes up here. So maybe first go for the big one because the values are still there. Yeah. So let's select that face here and go for that edge here or that point like that great now go for let's hide sketch 2 it's kind of irritating like that and make another hole up there now in this case it's a blind one and it should be of course 10 and 20 like that. Go for position, select the surface yeah, and put it right there. Okay. Leave that sketch and make a circular pattern. That would be that hole. Go for a circular pattern. Axis would be this one. Same values as before. And confirm. And finally, with sketch 3, again an extruded cut, but that's on the wrong position, so let's copy it. That sketch, control C, and put it on to the same plane that would be the front plane. Control V, go down, select it, move it a little bit, maybe like that, then go to edit and put that point onto the origin of the sketch. Coincident. No, not coincident. Let's undo that. It should be aligned vertical, but it should have a distance. So go for this and now go for a dimension from this point or put that point into that plane. That would be OK. So Go there, select the plane, select the center point of that circle and make it coincident. Confirm. Leave that sketch and now make that extruded cut with that sketch here. Again mid plane, again 200 millimeters should do and confirm and my third version is done as well. So that's it for this video. So I hope it was helpful. Hope you liked it. If you did like it, please 
give it a like or leave a comment. If you want to see more, please give it a like or leave a comment. Uh, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, that would really help. You could follow me also on GrabCat, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram and many more. Thanks for watching, see you to the next one. Bye bye. Thank you.